everyone, this is Carl from DevPro CB. We're continuing on with the tutorials for HTML5. Just wanted to get with you guys and, and let you know that we're going to be continuing on kind of from the previous URL for images itself. And the reason for that is because we're going to be learning about base fonts. I'm sorry, base tags. Uh, the base tag essentially allows you to place the main tag of all links within the header of the document and then all other links that are within the body are going to be relative to the base link that we create. So to kind of give you an example of what I mean here, um, since we have the original tutorial from the other day pulled up, or which is last video, uh, the way this works is you see here, everything is related to this long URL. Um, but we're going to go ahead and change this. We're going to go ahead and simplify this real quick so we can kind of see what we're talking about. So, for example, let's say we go to um, google.com, right? So our header, in our header, we're going to go ahead and place the base tag, base href equals http forward slash www.google.com forward slash and then every time this link is clicked we're going to target you know similar in a couple links back we learned about hyperlinks uh, the target is either uh, going to be self or blank like I said the other ones are really not going to be important to you because they're really not going to be supported in the newest standards uh, such as like frame sets and so forth so really just go ahead and use either blank or self uh, for now, we'll go ahead and use blank so you can see uh, what we're talking about. And then we close the base tag. And then we should be good. Okay. Now, Google, for example, has many different services. So if I click forward slash music, it brings up the Google Play Store to sign up for music. Uh, if I go to google.com forward slash mail, I think, it's, I think it's mail. Yeah. So it'd be mail. All right. So what we're going to do is everything is going to be related to Google. We'll go ahead and delete this link from last one. And then we're going to create a new link. Okay. All right. So this new link we're going to call music. Okay, and then the next link we're going to call mail. Okay, so go to music, go to mail. Save that. If all goes well, should be able to refresh this. Click go to music. It brought me to the Google Play, which is where Google Play Music is. And just so that you guys don't think I'm messing around, go to mail. It opened it up. Now remember what I told it to do. I went to Google and I wanted to, to target the blank page. So it's opening up a new page. So if I do underscore self, save, refresh that. Go to music, it'll refresh on this page. Go to mail, it'll go to the Google Mail. Simple enough, right? So let's go ahead and uh, test that on a, another website. Uh, let's say Yahoo. I believe Yahoo forward slash news should also do something. Yeah, okay, good. So we'll go ahead and test that out. So we're going to change this main link to yahoo.com. We're going to do a blank page, and then we'll do we'll keep music there, and we'll go ahead and use news. Go to Yahoo Music. That's if Yahoo still has a music section. Have been on their website in a little bit. The news, save. We'll go ahead and go back to our tutorial page, and then we'll go to save this that saves which is refresh okay go to yahoo music 
see how it changed it to music.yahoo.com. That's because Yahoo has a redirect for the forward slash, but essentially it's, it's doing exactly what we're looking for. And then of course, if we go to the news, do we link to the same one? Nope, we're good. And then the news brings us to news.yahoo.com. Simple enough. So what we've done is we've kind of cleaned up our body tag, which makes it much easier to read as opposed to some long, you know, I'm sure you've seen something like this, gp colon www some website dot com forward slash blah, 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 blah. So you can see in your code editor, you have to start scrolling right. It messes everything up. So the base tag, especially for the, um, the link attribute, centralizes everything what's nice about the base tag as well is now you're setting yourself up for success again in the future what this allows is for you to actually change the base tag dynamically so later on when you get into javascript you can actually target this tag specifically and uh, access its attribute which is the href and then change the value of the href so let's say a site like uh, yahoo uh, changes their main link and you don't have to change this here in your body. All you do is change the main link where that is, and it'll still be relative. As you saw, we didn't change the music tag at all from when we went from the Google, right? So when we were in Google, we saw music and then the mail. So we can do the same thing with Yahoo. If we save that, close this, we'll refresh that. So we go to music, right? Close that and go to mail. So as you can see, no matter what this particular href is um, dictating in the body, it doesn't matter because we can change this URL, the base URL of the main page to whatever we like. That's going to benefit you much more in the future. Uh, really, this covers the, the base of the base tag itself. It's a very simple tag, but a very powerful tag, especially when you're going to be developing a site in the future. That's going to be very dynamic. If you guys have any questions in the future or uh, you want to go ahead and leave some comments or like the video, please feel, due to, uh, feel free to do so uh, below the video itself. Once again, this is Carlos with